Hey you guys, so for today's video, I am so excited because today is my very first BoxyCharm unboxing video. I've been wanting to do this for so long, you guys. I just, ugh, I couldn't justify it for like, for ever and I'm just one of those people. Do I really want to put my money into this? Do I really want to spend that much? But you know what? I found out how much each box is worth and how you're paying only like 20, 21 dollars a month for one of these. So I was able to justify it like that. <laughs> Financial struggles are fun. Anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my BoxyCharm unboxing video. This is my BoxyCharm for the month of July. I did get one for the month of June, however, I got it very late because I subscribed late because it said if you subscribe now, you can get the box for the month of June. And that was the one I really wanted. And I just did a review on the Alamar palette that was in that one. If you guys want to check that out? I'll leave that linked up here for you guys. But yeah, today we're going to focus on this BoxyCharm video. And I'm just so excited, you guys. I'm like over the moon right now. Right now to play with this and see what's inside. So the first thing in the box, this is what it looks like. And the theme for this month's box is road tripping. That's so cute. Okay, so I did go ahead and peek in the box a little bit just so I can know what to put on my face currently. Right now I just have some bronzer and I did a little bit of concealer on red spots or pimples for you guys. I didn't put any concealer however on my under eyes because the first thing in the box that I wanted to try out is this Needless No More No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel from the brand Dr. Brandt, which I'm actually really excited to try out because I actually do really love the skincare brand. I actually think they're really great. However, they are very expensive, so I'm very happy that in the box this month. So what I wanted to do with this was I guess put it under my under eyes and then maybe put concealer over top because I heard you can put concealer over top of this. Hopefully that's true. We will see. Went ahead and zoomed you guys in just a tad bit. Ugh, I should have done my eyebrows first with this eyebrow thing because I'm so self-conscious when I don't have my eyebrows on but trying to be more confident in my natural brows even though there are barely any but it's fine. Put some on my finger. Ugh, it's not coming out. Come out. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's orange. I didn't expect this to be orange. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this on my under eye, I guess. This is really sticky. It's like super cooling and tingling. I don't, I don't know. I'm actually seeing a little bit of a difference though. I don't know if like you guys can tell or not, but I feel like that definitely de-puffed at least like a little bit. And I feel like my under eyes aren't as dark. All right, I'm gonna see how this performs now once I go ahead and put concealer over top. I'm just gonna use my handy dandy Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Put that over top now. Okay, so I went ahead and just put on some concealer and I put like a powder over top. I don't know, I definitely feel like my eyes are more open and awake now. I did notice there was a little bit of like dryness here, but I'm pretty sure that's only because I probably didn't like pat it in enough. But once I kind of like wiped that away, it was like just the gel. And then it eventually just like went away as I like wiped it off with my brush and now it looks totally normal. So not a big deal there. I don't know, I definitely need to play around with it a little bit more, but I think I like it. I think it's actually pretty cool. So this product actually retails for $42, which is insane because the box itself is only 20, 21 bucks a month. I need to double check that. I think it's 21 bucks a month. So that is insane. All so right, the next thing in the box that I'm dying to try out because I am dying to put something on my eyebrows right now is this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Never tried an eyebrow cream before, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I've actually heard pretty good things about this product. So I'm kind of excited to try it out right now. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you how much this product retails for. This retails for 26 doll hairs. So you open it up like that and here's the brush. The cream I'm assuming is in here. Yeah, and then you just kind of dip it in. I'm so nervous, I hope I like these. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it in the cream. This is kind of inconvenient because I can't really tell how much product I'm grabbing and I definitely feel like I grabbed too much product, but oh, let me see. Okay, so I actually didn't hate that. It wasn't bad or anything. The product itself was actually really good. Like the gel inside here actually blended out really nicely. I did put some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel over top because I myself like to have like feathery looking brows going on. The only thing I found extremely inconvenient with this, I really don't care for the brush. I do have a ton of brushes though that I can use instead of this. I felt like it was just wasn't dense enough. I felt like the product was kind of going like all over the place because of how like flimsy this brush was. And then I also thought it was kind of a hassle 
how deep in here is the product and you gotta dip this kind of like fat fluffy brush inside. I don't know, I just found it really inconvenient. The cream itself though is actually really good. This color actually works for me pretty well. Blended out really nicely. It applied really nicely as well. Alright, so the next thing I have in the box is from this brand called Brown Pro, I believe. Or this is probably, I think the brand is called Crown, but it's the Crown Pro eyeshadow palette, I'm assuming. Just gonna open it for you guys. Eh. Oh, sweet. So this is what the palette looks like right here here. Oh, and it bends nicely on the back too. That's always very convenient. This is what the palette looks like. I'm actually super excited to dive into this palette. I love this whole color story that they have going on. I think it's gorgeous. I love any type of warm eyeshadow palette. I'm honestly all about it. And the fact that it also comes with a mirror is awesome. And this is actually a really nice looking high def mirror. I feel like this would be extremely convenient for travel. I'm excited to play with these. And then before I forget, this palette itself retails for $29.99. So you have like five shimmers and five mattes here, so not bad. I like when palettes are even like that. It's just what I prefer personally because I think it just helps you out more and gives you more of like a variety of different looks to try out. I think I'm going to go ahead and start this off with a transition shade. So I'm going to be dipping into this shade right here from the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead, ooh, these are pigmented, and buff this in my crease. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this part fast. I'll keep showing you guys which colors I'm going for and we're just going to speed this along a little bit. So far, I actually did really enjoy this palette. These mattes actually performed very well. You did have to build them up a little bit, but I honestly don't mind that. Initially, I did really love the shimmer shades. They came off super metallic and it looked awesome. However, I did notice that as I started to like blend out these colors better and make them all sync together nicely, you can tell these are going to be the type of shadows that disappear after like an hour or two. I already know I'm starting to see them fade a little bit already. So that is my only complaint. If you guys want, I'll go ahead and leave in the description below how long the shadows lasted and how well they lasted throughout the day. Um, That's my only concern about these. Other than that, I thought they blended out really well, especially these mattes. All right, what's next? All right, so the next thing in the box is this Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara from the brand Wander Beauty. This product retails for $24. Wow, that's an expensive mascara. And I'm gonna go ahead and give them a go. I like to do the bottom lash line first because I feel like when you do the top and then you go and do the bottom, the top mascara winds up hitting your eyelids and that's just not fun. So I like to do the bottom first just to get it out of the way. Okay, so I actually did really enjoy this mascara. It definitely gave me a lot of volume and it did actually really curl up my lashes like it says on here. My only thing, I do like a mascara that gives me more length. I don't feel like my lashes are as like lengthy as they usually are. However, I, I did still really enjoy this mascara. I definitely feel like I look like I have a lot more lashes than I actually do, which is pretty nice. I'm not really used to that, so... This is actually really nice, not bad. And then the last product I have in the box for you guys. This is from the brand Note, I believe, and is their Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the shade Desert Rose. And then let me check, this product retails for $11.99. Go ahead and open up this little guy. I hope I like this color. Oh, yes, I love colors like this. I'm so excited right now. Just gonna go ahead and tap this in. Oh man, I feel like this is gonna be really pigmented. I feel like I picked up too much product. Oh, that's actually not bad. That's so pretty. Wow, I really like this blush. I think I went a little heavy handed with it, but it's really pretty, so flattering on. Put a little bit on my nose, cause I like having a little blush in my nose, why not? I feel like it balances everything out nicely. Wow, okay, I actually really like that. This is such a beautiful color. It makes my face look a lot more alive and awake for sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on a lip real quick cause I feel like this look is not complete without some sort of liquid lip. I'm just using the Tarte Bestie liquid lipstick. And then I don't have a highlighter on either, so I kind of want to see how this shade works as one. Oh wow, that's actually really pretty. I actually really like that, yay! 
Definitely got to build up the highlight a bit, but not too bad. All right, so I went ahead and added up the price value of the box, and everything in here is worth $133.98. Cents. So we'll just go ahead and round that up to $134 for the box this month, which is freaking insane because you're only paying $21 a month for this box. That's one of the reasons why I subscribe to this because honestly, you really are getting your money's worth with this box. Like it's actually freaking insane. And yeah, you guys, that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really liked everything in here. There wasn't one thing that I was honestly disappointed by at all. I felt like everything in the box worked extremely well. The only thing was like the palette, I feel like the shimmer shades aren't gonna last that long. And then the brow gel, I just didn't like the brush for it, but the pomade itself was actually really good. I'm really happy with this month's box. I honestly really enjoyed it and I can't wait to play around with this makeup a little bit more. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have BoxyCharm. I actually really enjoy it so far and I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on it. But anyway, please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and have a great rest of your night or day wherever you guys may be. I will see you guys in my next video. And remember, stay weird, my friends. Bye, you guys.